good morning everyone uh, well I say good morning good afternoon I I really struggled to get the motivation to come out again today probably because I've completed two projects up until this point and I've got to start the new one the new one being this box with the angled sides is it gonna focus yes and what I've just realized is that it's actually got compound angles on it which are hard enough at the best of times let alone on this workbench so that was a bit of a Oh, it, it was a struggle trying to work it out. I've just done it, but I'll talk you through that later on. It's really windy today, so things keep blowing away. Because I was really struggling to get out today, one thing I'd really advise to you if this is something that you also struggle with, you know, going out to the garage when it's really cold and stuff like that, and you struggle to summon the motivation to do stuff, go out there and just sharpen something. It's an easy task to do. It doesn't require much thought, but what it does is it gets you in the mindset for the day and also you have really nice sharp tools to use for the rest of the day because the worst thing you can do is go into your workshop with this sort of stinking mindset if you can't bother to do anything. You pick up your plane that you haven't sharpened because you can't be bothered, you take the first stroke, you get some tear out and then it just makes the day even worse. So what I would strongly advise if you're ever in the situation where you can't be bothered, just go in there and sharpen something. I've gone through this lot which was a bit of a pain in the ass because I was having to change the camera around a little bit but I also had a little bit of a sharpening session to myself where I took some of the kitchen knives out here and gave them a quick sharpen and now at uh, quarter past one in the afternoon I'm ready to go. Now I would just like to clarify it hasn't taken me since 10 o'clock this morning when I woke up to sharpen all of these tools. It was a very quick process, it just took me ages to get out here in the first place and then I thought eh, I'll give sharpening a go and here we are. And I know a lot of you struggle with sharpening things like particularly chisels and what I'd like to let you know is that I have previously done videos on this, a lot of you know about that, but I've also started re-filming a lot of my older videos and sharpening is one of the ones that's included in that, however I didn't quite finish it before quarantine got hold of me so I'll certainly be finishing that once I get back to the workshop and after this box is complete. But anyway to work out some of the angles on this box essentially what I did to start with was draw it on SketchUp. This is the easiest way for me to work out compound angles. There are calculators and stuff available online but I just can't work them out they're so complicated. I just draw it on SketchUp and then I can see visually what I'm going for. So the difficulty with these compound angles is obviously here we've got a nice 90 degree corner very easy. With this box however the sides are going to be angled in like this and also tilted so it doesn't make the front component too difficult because that is still standing at 90 degrees we've just got to angle this down I think it was eight degrees and then angled back 15 degrees so that's not too difficult to scribe on there the challenging part is this component because it doesn't follow any of the angles on here it's not as simple as what I used to think it was as you find the halfway point between 15 and 8 degrees and then that's what gives you this angle it's not according to my calculations this is actually sitting at 7.7 .7 degrees now unfortunately the only thing I've got to mark out these angles is this sliding bevel I haven't got a protractor or anything to actually measure this against and create those angles so instead what I had to do was convert those angles into linear X and Y measurements so I went 100 millimeters up and then worked out how far across I needed to be much like you would do with a dovetail ratio where you mark 8 and then 1 or 6 and then 1 depending if you wanted a 1 to 6 or a 1 to 8 ratio it's very much the same thing but I just measured up 100 mil and then across whatever I needed to in order to create that angle and so for 15 degrees I've measured 100 mil up and I need to go across 26.8 apparently for 8 degrees measured up 100 mil and I need to go out 14.1 and then for 7.7, .7, I need to measure 13.5. Now, since drawing this, I've decided to change the materials I'm gonna use in this particular design. And I'm gonna use uh, this nice red oak for the front, and then I'm gonna use brown oak for the sides. And unfortunately, this means that I'm gonna to have to slightly alter the dimensions on this drawing, but I can't be bothered to go back and draw it on the computer again. So I'm just gonna draw a orthographic drawing on this workbench itself. And then I can actually use that to reference throughout the project as well.
break into this montage halfway through. This is why I'm so happy that I took the time to sharpen my tools this morning because if I come into this with a bad mindset and tried to plane oak end grain at a compound angle by hand without any guides, it would have not have gone well. So the fact that I took that time to sort my mindset out and also at the same time actually be productive with that time in sharpening tools, it has meant that this has come out stunning. And that was actually a really fun process as well. I didn't think it would turn out as good as it has. Uh, look at that, that white line around the edge is that original knife line that was scratched around and I've just planed down right up to it. The way I did it was obviously I cut about half a millimeter away from the line using the good old Ryoba saw and then chiseled into the line to create a pyramid in the top of this component. And then essentially just plane that pyramid away until you start hitting the edges. That's it. The only way you can successfully do this is with sharp tools. As you can probably see, we've got the compound angles planed and they're now lining up with the uh, drawing. It's actually called a rigid orthographic drawing if you're interested, but it lines up here and then it lines up on the other side as well. Therefore, I can be absolutely certain that these angles are in line with one another. So my thought process with these end components is to simply get the front and back lined up and then tilt this into it and scribe the line up the top there. The only thing I need to do before doing that is planing the angle on the top of this component so that when it tilts, it sits flat on the workbench below. Then I think that'll be a nice stable ground for me to scribe up this line here. for this episode because it is blimmin' windy today and things keep blowing off the workbench and I'm very concerned that the gazebo is gonna take off in a minute. So I'm gonna call it there, but before you go, I have noticed that part, whatever it was, has now passed 4,000 likes, which means that I'm gonna be showing you guys how to machine, how to machine, how to hand plane timber. God, I wish I had a machine. How to hand plane timber on this bloody thing. So thank you very much for that. I, I very much appreciate the 4,000 likes. I am not very appreciative that I have to demonstrate this for you, but there we go. So I've got some saws and stuff on order in order to do that, and it should be a pretty funny episode. With regards to the rest of this series, depending on what happens with the announcement tonight, apparently, about whether the lockdown is going to be extended or not, I am hoping that I'm going to start getting one or two days a week back in the workshop to continue with the cabinet series. If that happens, then I'm going to keep the workbench set up in the garden here and continue with this series until I get this box done and I also get that hand planing video done as well. Once those are both sorted, that's where hopefully I'll be able to move everything back into the workshop and we will continue with all the awesome videos that we have planned. We have got, we've had so much time to plan future videos now. I'm so excited to get started on things. So it's all good at the moment. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to press the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.